Hi, it's Dr. Witten, and today we're going to do a unique video. In the past, I've done videos on how to muscle test supplements, but today we're going to do something that uh, there's no other video like it. We're going to show you how to evaluate the nutritional needs of each organ system. If you have some kind of illness, disease, autoimmune condition, the different organ systems have different nutritional needs. So we're going to take vitamin D and uh, magnesium and show how much the nervous system needs each of those supplements. And we'll check the, the digestive system and the immune system. And there'll be possibly different levels needed by those different systems. So it's just a way to get better quality information to dial in the exact needs of somebody who needs those nutrients. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of our videos. There's some very exciting uh, research around vitamin D and autoimmune uh, diseases. Uh, Dr. Coimbra accidentally discovered that vitamin D has a lot of great benefits for MS and other autoimmune diseases. Um, they've noticed also, other researchers noticed that places that get less sunlight have higher autoimmune disease. So um, this is really interesting research. And so we're gonna test you for how you can dial in your optimal levels of vitamin D as well as magnesium, which assists vitamin D to get into your body and function properly. Dr. Eric Berg has a great YouTube video on Dr. Coimbra's protocol, so check out that video as well. So this is a really interesting thing to test because Melissa has MS. She was diagnosed four, four years ago this month. So um, we were, in the past, initially we were just testing her whole body need for vitamin D. But then we realized we can actually check and challenge each organ system to find out what its need for that nutrient is. And we do the same for magnesium and other supplements that we think uh, will benefit her and keep her uh, from having autoimmune relapses. So we're gonna show you how we can muscle test the different organ systems. I'll use this muscle test because I don't wanna block what my hand here is doing. There's a point right there just below the hairline that is a good indicator point for the nervous system. So it's not here, nervous system, not here, not here, not here, not here. So the body actually showed me the best indicator point for testing the nervous system. The hormone systems here, uh, the immune system, there's an indicator point on the left side, just to the left of the sternum for the immune system, right there. So what we can do is we can take this is just vitamin D without the K2. And we could say for the, for the immune system, ah, the body says it likes that. So it wants more than 1,000 IU, more than 2,000, more than 3,000 a day, more than 4,000, more than 5,000, more than about 6,000 IU a day. So her immune system wants uh, 6,000 IU. So if we go to the belly button, Right above the belly button is a good indicator for the digestive system. So uh, does the digestive system hold strong? Does the digestive system need vitamin D? It says her digestive system doesn't have any need for it, okay? But the immune system does, okay? So as far as the nervous system, her nervous system wants more than a thousand IU, more than 2,000. Each drops is a thousand IU, more than 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Same thing as the immune system, so it tests the same. Here's one with uh, vitamin D with K2. So this, uh, we could check, this wants more than 2,000 IU of D with K2, more than 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. So it went from 6,000 to from pure uh, vitamin D to it's, it's wanting more of this. So 
like this product for the nervous system scores over a four, five, six out of 10, over a seven, over an eight, over a nine, over a 9.1, two, three, four, five. So this, on a scale of one to 10, how good of a product, this score is almost over a 9.5, 9.6, 9.7, 9.8. Body really likes this. Just the pure vitamin D3 scores better than the three, four, five, six, seven, over an eight. So it prefers the product that has uh, vitamin K2 with it. And this is lion's mane. So for her digestive system, uh, there's no, no real need for it. So if we just, if we were talking to her digestive system, uh, do you need this product? Says no. Uh, if we ask her immune system, do you need this product? Says no. The nervous system, do you need this product? Yeah, it likes that. It wants more than a quarter teaspoon a day, more than a half a teaspoon, more than three quarters of a teaspoon. So if you learn these uh, indicator points, so we've got the nervous system, the endocrine system, the respiratory system, the cardiovascular, the immune system, digestive system. Um, so I, I teach a course on uh, muscle testing. We do a Zoom class. Uh, which is a five-week course and just just look up uh, wittenmethod.com and you can find out more about that and then i teach um, my whole witten method basic series which is basically my whole technique uh, which you can also find on my website uh, but that gives a lot better quality information than just checking generally like if we just asked her body generally I ask general questions by the heart. So uh, if we take that, that good supplement, uh, vitamin D with K2, it says overall, in general, her body wants more than 1,000 IU, more than 2,000. See, we, we get a completely different reading if we ask her body in general because a lot of parts of her body don't need it. Her bones don't need it. You know, she's in her 20s, so her bones are doing great. So she needs more than 1,000 IU, more than 2,000. So if we just asked her body in general, it would give us a much lower reading than her nervous system needs, than her immune system needs. So it's a, it's a great way to get better quality data from your muscle testing. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.